Hi, uh, my name is Dennis, and uh, thank you for you know joining me on my YouTube channel. Um, if you like what you hear today, please don't forget to check. Uh, you like it, you know, the little hand. And if you have any comments, of course, at the bottom, uh, give me any comments you want to say. And uh, if you have questions, you can go to uh, you can go to my email uh, address, which is Dennis Lee Case at gmail.com I have nothing to hide usually I talk about pistols all my other videos you've been watching I've been talking about what I've done what you can do with like 1911s versus uh, uh, Glocks yada 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 uh, uh, today I want to talk about what I did to a AR configuration okay um, you know how all the time you take uh, your AR and you take it apart, you're going to clean it totally, you're going to tear everything apart because it's so much fun to tear apart. You know, you open it up and you take all the guts out of it, you know, dump it out. Well, I want to talk about that. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I took the barrel off of this one because it's so easy. <laughs> I mean, if it's easy, I'm going to do it. <laughs> uh, I tore this one down all the way down um, to a strip lower and receiver, even took the grip off um, uh, you know I was expecting the springs to go everywhere I hate that little tiny pieces in these springs and you're trying to be so careful and doing certain things and all of a sudden bing, you're going darn it <laughs> okay I don't like that you probably don't so I've got a remedy for you you can do it or you can take it to a gunsmith okay if you take it to a gunsmith get yourself first of all a one-eighth inch steel ball it's like a ball bearing they're using bicycles and stuff like that it's one eighth okay that's all you need a gunsmith should have everything else you go to your gunsmith and you say see that one eighth inch ball you're going to use that to do these modifications first thing I want you to do is I want you to take this spring and pin the pin they go to this safety and I want you to take them out I want you to take that steel ball. I want you to drop it in there. I want you to take the spring, make it less, a little less than an eighth, one eighth, and drop it in there, and then put a set screw in there. Allen, set screw, okay? Put it in there to hold that in there for me and adjust it so it works properly, okay? He can do it. And the other thing I want you to do is I want you to take this end where the stock brings in. I want you to put the pin in there and the spring in there. You're going to have to cut some of the spring off, but and then put a set screw in there so it stays there. And that way I don't lose it. That way, when I take this whole thing apart, I don't have to worry about those stupid little pins going whing everywhere. I hate that. It just <laughs> drives me crazy. You know, I hate little things that just go flying off in the air. So you can take that to your gunsmith or do it yourself. Um, if you want to know how to do it, um, email me at dennisleecase at gmail.com. And uh, in fact, I could make the kit up for you and send it to you. Um, you. I'll just, you know, if it comes to a cost or something like that, I'll email you the cost of it. It's not going to be very much. What, an eighth inch steel ball is like, what, pennies? And then the, um, oh, the Allen screws. Uh, that is a n nice one. You can get Allen screws that are very cheap, but please remember when you buy cheap, you get cheap. Don't do that. Okay. Never, never, uh, never do that to yourself. Okay. Uh, but you need a uh, th one three thirty seconds. Yeah. Uh, three thirty seconds Allen screw and a uh, five sixty fourth Allen screw. Okay. Uh, the five sixty fourth goes for the uh, safety. You know, it goes in here in the safety well. And um, the um, 3 uh, 30 seconds goes for this because that's the hole that's tapped into it. And you'll have to, so that means you'd have to tap this uh, 3 30 seconds and, of course, tap this hole, you know, the 564 sort of work. But anyway, um, once you do that and you put it all together, you'll really be happy. And it's a fun little project. It doesn't destroy your weapon at all. And it, keeps you from losing those dead burned little springs okay 
All right, that's what I wanted to talk to you, quick and down and dirty, and I hope you enjoyed that. Um, the other thing, oh, I forgot. A new little HK, uh, tan little body, nice in it. Uh, I went ahead and Cerakoted it, kind of nice, I like it. I just want to make a comment about these HKs. <laughs> They're tanks. You could beat this thing up all day long. And you ain't gonna hurt it. <laughs> I swear to God, I, you know, I love a tank. <laughs> you can't go wrong with a tank, right? I mean, I mean, not talking about the. This is a forty, uh, but I'm talking about the metal. <laughs> you could beat on that all day long, and it's not gonna affect it. <laughs> Y'all have a nice day out there. Okay, got any comments? Write them below. Bye bye.